welcome back welcome to Chicago Chanel on YouTube today I'm gonna to prepare for you pate not from scratch but as you can see by using this kind of pastry puff pastry and that's from Pepperidge Farm and you definitely want the puff pastry sheets that says sheets not shells okay and it's, quite, it's going to be very easy but I have to tell you because it's uh, sold frozen you want to thaw the dough or the pastry before you can use it but you don't want to thaw it out too much like you don't want it to be too uh, or should I say too soft okay this is perfect for now all right I had to leave it in the fridge and then I let it out in the fridge okay don't leave it outside for too long again you don't want it to be too soft otherwise it will not come up flaky and uh, fluffy like it should so I do have some water and I do have an egg wash. Egg wash is just one old egg that I added the water, a little bit of water to it. And then of course you have your filling. This is my chicken filling. And um, and I, I mean, you know how to prepare pots or chicken filling. You season it really well and you add whatever um, ingredients such as um, chopped olives or chopped capers and um, whatever okay to make it really look good all right so now as you can see I, i'm not using any flour because i'm using um this um uh, uh pad okay and i don't need to add any flour to it okay it's not gonna stick so we have the this pastry puff pastry sheets comes in two sheets okay and we're gonna cut the sheets along the line like this in three this is one part and then the other one is going to do the same thing all right make sure that you cut it really straight once you do that you're going to take each piece like this and you're going to fold it so it can be even on each side and then you're going to cut it in the middle all right and this is going to be one pate all right, you get, you're gonna have all together 12 individual pate if you happen to cut it like this, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing for each and every one of them. And as you can see, we really don't need any flour, okay? Also, you don't want to manipulate or handle the pastry too much. I find out that if you do that, like if you have to roll it out or do whatever with your hand, it will prevent it from being flaky. And that's the idea to, for the pastry to be really flaky, fluffy, light. All right? okay so now that i have cut i have 12 pieces i'm going to use the water and then go around each piece and spread the water in all on all four sides the reason why i'm using water because when you have to close it it will seal it it will make it close better okay it's, it the water acts like as a sealer all right so we do that for each one of them okay and it's easier also to use this uh brush this pastry brush instead of using your hand or fingers all right I think I got all of them with water covered okay and the next step is to add the filling so you're gonna use a teaspoonful 
of the filling and add it on each one of them. All right, depending, I mean, not all of the pieces are evenly uh, cut. Some of them are bigger than others, so you have to use your judgment by adding the filling, the proper amount of filling, depending on your on the size of your uh, piece or pate. Okay, like this one is smaller, so I'm gonna just do that like this. So it's pretty easy. Of course, it won't taste the same as if you had made the pate from scratch, which I sometimes, you know, or I used to, to do, but it's so much easier and much more practical to use this um, store-bought pastry. Okay. my filling and I'm almost done with that okay and that's about it so I have those leftovers for sandwiches for lunch okay let me just wipe my fingers so now we can close it like this and again, I like to close it, just tap it lightly around the edges to make sure everything is well sealed. I don't like to use a fork. I found out if you use a fork to seal it, again, I think it really prevents it from being flaky, from puffing out, okay? So if you can avoid using the Fork, please don't use a fork okay and of course if you don't want it flaky be my guest go ahead and use a fork if that's easier for you but you'll see the difference between using a fork to seal it and using your fingers to seal it okay all right you see how easy it is, how quick, that's what I like about that, okay? Now, I have the pan on which I'm going to put my party. And this is a pan that I'm using and I have sprayed it with vegetable oil, alright? So I can now place them on the pan like that okay and one thing also you want to do is to reheat your oven to 350 degrees all right you don't want to put the pastry in a cold oven so i'm going to do that now Let it warm up to 350 degrees. And while it's warming up, I can finish up this. All right. So you see how easy it was. How easy it is. And now I'm ready to brush my pastry with my egg wash. And again, you know that the egg wash you use it just to give it that shiny color shiny yellow grayish color all right just make sure everything is well spread with the egg wash okay And that's okay if you get some on the side that will hurt. You just have to have you just have fried eggs <laughs> if you have some extra on the side. Okay. Alright guys. 
So once we're done with that, we're going to put it in the oven. I'm going to wait until the oven warms up to 350 degrees and then put it in the oven, in the middle oven, not on top, not at the bottom, but right in the middle so it can cook evenly. Okay? And it will probably take about 20 to 25 minutes uh, to bake uh, or when you start um, maybe smelling the really nice smell of pate, you know that it's almost ready to come out. All right. I'm back and look at it. Look at those delicious looking pate. As you can see, they are puffy, they are flaky, and they have such a nice golden color to them and uh, I just took them out of the oven and I let them uh, bake for 20 minutes no more and I could smell it uh, even uh, toward the end all right so here it is pate the easy way using not from scratch but some bought bought <laughs> store bought store but uh, frozen uh, puff pastry all right i hope you enjoy take care good night bye bye happy new year again